Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is day 11 of Bokoween and this is going to be all the thrillers and horrors I have so far. Let's get going. I actually don't have too many. One is coming on its way because I did it online. I try to find it in an actual bookstore but when you have one book of that, when you have just one book in stock, good luck finding it. I give up. <laughs> So let's get going. So my first book is The Woods Are Always Watching by Stephanie Perkins. Bears are the only predators in these woods. Best friends Nina and Josie have spent high school as outsiders while at least they had each other. Now with college and a 2,000 mile separation looming on the horizon, they have one last chance to be together as they hike deep into the woods of the Bizzle National Forest, swimming tensions lead to a detour of the off trails and straight into a walking nightmare and then into something far worse, something that will test them in horrifying ways. Creepy, but I love it. My next book is A Haunting in the Arctic by C.J. Cook. I've actually read The Lighthouse Witches by C.J. Cook. I still felt confused, so that's that. 1901, on board the ornament, a whaling ship battling through the forgiving North Sea, a woman awakes. Attacked and dragged there against the world is just her and the crew, and they all own something only she can give them. 1973, decades later, when the ship is found still drifting across the ocean, it's deserted. Just one body is left on board, his face and feet mutilated, his cabin locked from the inside, everyone else has vanished. Now as an urban explorer, Dominique travels in the near permanent darkness of the northernmost trip of Iceland. To the final resting place of the Ormond's wreck, she is determined to uncover the ship's secrets. But she's not alone, something is here with her, and it's seeking revenge. I always like stories about the Arctic. I don't know, they can be creepy too, so... You know, we got hot in ships, we got ice cold waters... So, I don't know, I just really like those kind of stories. <laughs> My next book is A Search Party by Hannah Ridgely. Max and Annie Kingsley have left the London rat race with a 12 year old son to set up a glamping site in the wilds of Cornwall. Eager for a drive right ahead of the opening, they invite the three old university friends and the families for a much needed reunion. But when the festivities soon got out of wires, legends mount between the children and subsequently the parents, explosive secrets come to light and a sudden storm moves in, cutting them from off from the help as one in the group disappears. Oh, there's even a map. How cool. There's normally no maps in like thrillers, but this is really cool. Imagine going grabbing in a tour one. Maybe. It's up in the air, but it was I'll make a really cool video for Bokumin and I might bring this guy along <laughs> for my glamping. But yeah, it's just up in the air. I don't know if I'm actually gonna go glamping, but I think it'll be fun. So there you go. My next book is The Forgotten Girls by Sarah Blaynell. Four days later, Louise Wick still had no answers. An unidentified woman's body has discovered in the local forest. A large, unique scar on one side of her face should have made that identification easy, but nobody has reported her missing. As the new commander of the missing persons department, Louise risks involving the media by releasing a photo of the victim, hoping to find someone who knew her. Louise's gamble eye pays off, an older woman phones to say that she recognizes the woman as Liz Mette, a child who once cared for in the state mentalist institution many years ago. Then Samitha, like the other children in the institution, was abandoned by her family and branded a forgotten girl. But Louise soon discovered something far more disturbing. Then Samitha had a twin, and both girls were issued with, and both girls were issued death certificates more than 30 years ago. Well, that's something else, actually. I already talked about this game, like so many times. Game? Book. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is a game, though, so um, I talked about this book like so many times. Then in the game, uh, by Cynthia Murphy. Rules of the Midnight Game. Do not turn on the lights, do not go to sleep, do not leave the building. When a group of strangers who met on a creepy dead thread decide to meet in real life, they only have one objective in mind. To summon the Midnight Man, but once you start the Midnight Game, you must finish it the other way. Six players, one night, but how many will survive? I actually kind of want to play the game. <laughs> I don't know if it's real, but you know, something for my stupidness, if you will, but we will see if it's real. So I might actually play the game someday. Who knows? 
don't know. <laughs> and the last book is The God of the Woods by Liz Moon. Andrew knocked back summer camp. Two worlds collide. Early morning, August 1975, a camp counselor discovers an empty bunk. Its occupant, Barbara Van Lord, has gone missing. Barbara isn't just any 13-year-old. She's the daughter of the family that owns a summer camp and employs most of the region's residents. And this is the first time a Van Lord child has disappeared. Barbara's older brother similarly vanished 14 years ago, never to be found. As a panic search begins, a thrilling drama unfolds. Chasing down the layered mysteries of the Van Lyle flat family and the blue collar community, living and walking in, in its shadow. Sounds great. And my last book that I'm currently waiting for is Motherhood by Simone St. James. July 1995, April and Andy have taken a wrong turn. They're looking for the small resort town where they plan to stay and spend their honeymoon. When a spot one appears to be a lone hitchhiker, Alone, doesn't load, and they stop to help, but not long after the hitchhiker gets into the car, they see blood seeping from her jacket and a truck babbling down at his lane after them. And so those are all the books that I'm going to have so that that I have so far, and uh, let me know what thrillers you have right now, and please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time for my next book review video comes in, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!